Local 5's Paul Sino is live for us in Green Bay ahead of a meeting where city officials will tell prospective short-term rental owners what they need to know. Paul? Hi, Samantha. Yeah, that meeting starts here at the Bay Beach Wildlife Sanctuary here in about an hour, and it's focused on short-term rentals tonight. The city, of, the city has previously had many meetings on long-term rentals, but said that they wanted to gear this one towards short-term rentals because of the amount of interest that people here in Green Bay have on the short-term rentals. City officials said they think some of the interest comes from the upcoming NFL draft saying the possibility of making some money off of renting out your home is piquing some people's interest. Now around Lambeau Field, you have homes that are both in Ashwaubenon and Green Bay. An Ashwaubenon official told me those who live in the village with questions about short-term rentals can visit the village's website or discover Green Bay's website for information about short-term rental permitting. Most of the Green Bay addresses are across Lombardi Street, opposite the stadium. Officials say that at the meeting tonight, they are going to go over short-term rental permitting, inspections, as well as ordinances that ensure that guests are not, dis are not disturbing neighbors when they are renting. The short-term rentals are within our neighborhoods. You know, you might have a neighbor that is looking into doing short-term rentals or are already doing them. And we want to make sure that um, as part of a neighborhood that everybody is following the rules so it's a safe, healthy place for everybody within the neighborhood. And Samantha, again, the registration for the meeting here tonight at Bay Beach Wildlife Sanctuary is closed right now because they are at capacity. But Green Bay officials did tell me that if there continues to be this level of interest in short-term rental ownership, that they will consider having future meetings about this topic at a later date. For now, though, live from Green Bay, Paul Stino, Local 5 News.